Now, one of the things that uh, Neo has really pulled through, and so many of the people really underestimate what Neo has achieved, is the autonomous driving chip Shenji uh, NX9031 chip that they are using or currently using on the Neo 89. They are using two of them the Neo ES6, Neo 85 Touring, Neo 85 Mercedes 10, and the Neo EC6. All these, uh, of course, five models are utilizing Neo Shenji autonomous driving chip, which is Neo's in house developed chip. Now, as I said, the 89 uses two of these chips, while the others, that is the four best selling models, they are using one chip each. Now, one thing that is making so many people to talk about this chip is the capabilities that they are seeing from the Neo World model, right? The, what Neo is able to achieve with this chip on the Neo World model. And it's it's just so amazing. I mean, the CEO of Neo, uh, by the way, he commented or he did some comments on, 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 on this. And uh, my dear friends, it took us on a trip on on some of the things that took place. I mean, the same on the screen, you notice that the Neo CEO said uh, this was over the weekend and that is... Uh, the new world model began to be pushed on the ET9, uh, new ES6, new EC6, ET5 Touring, ET5 Mercedes, and this marks the application of performance of the world's first automotive grade 5 NM Smart Driving Chip Shinji NX9031, developed by NIO and designed and uh, has reached the design goal, which fully demonstrates excellent chip design capabilities, software, hardware engineering capabilities of the Neo chip team. We have always believed that cars are, are products that will be used for, we have always believed that cars are products that will be used for more than 10 years. The higher the computing power of smart driving chips, the more guaranteed the smart assisted driving experience throughout the life cycle of the car. This is also the reason why NIO launched the Mobile Eye IQ4 globally in 2018 and NVIDIA flagship smart driving chip Orin X globally in 2022. Our actual mass production time is more than half a year ahead of original mass production time. So. Notice what the, the CEO is saying there. I'll read that, that statement for you. Our actual mass production time is more than half a year ahead of original mass production time of these chips. And this process has also overcome many challenges. In the process of mass production of these world-leading smart driving chips at the time, we also had incredibly clear understanding of what kind of smart driving chips are more in line with long-term needs of smart assisted driving in our opinion the most advanced smart driving chip should have the following characteristics they talk about computing power band which should be high enough to support smart upgrade of smart assisted driving algorithm and softwares number two it should also ensure safety and reliable operations under extreme conditions and support active and passive fusions intelligent safety with ultra low latency they also talk about it should have all weather and full scene image signal processing capabilities the neo ceo has said so many uh, great things including the challenges that they've encountered i mean neo has really done something great and the good thing that i i like about this chip neo is saying look we are not going to close off this chip to just neo but we will be able to share it with all the other new energy vehicle car companies that want to really give it a try or want to utilize our chips and what better way to demonstrate the capabilities of this chip um, uh, on a neo or by launching a new world model which is something that is just so great and it shows us the capabilities of what this uh, chip is is made of right and the neo ceo is just that the article or that that, that that article I was reading for you is quite long. He highlighted something very important, and that is, they are still not being used to full capacity. There's still a lot that can still that these chips can still handle, and this tells you that we can get to probably full autonomous driving with these chips that Neo 
has developed, which is something that is just so crazy. It's so amazing to see what Neo has produced. It's so amazing to see what Neo has uh, utilizing. And this points us to one thing, and that is Blue Sky is coming. Long term will win, and those that are persevering will be rewarded with time. I mean, to hear the Neo CEO break it, bringing it down like this, he wants, of course, investors to also understand the kind of milestone or the kind of success that Neo has seen with this chip. The challenges and the capabilities of this chip, which is, I think, very important for everyone, whether being it the Neo users or the investors, to know the massive success that Neo has seen after mass producing this chip. I mean, the mass production, you saw that it's it's so massive already. It's ahead of uh, the mass production of this chip. It's ahead, and this simply means that there is more that can be that Neo can can. There is enough, of course, of these chips that Neo can install on their cars, which is something that is great. Do you remember what led into Neo, uh, or do you know perhaps some of the reason that led Neo into producing their own chips? I think there were two. Number one. It is because they want to increase the gross margins to over 20%. I mean, if you remember what the new CEO said back in 2020-2021, his message has always been one. There is no chance of new making it if they don't start producing their own chips and their own batteries. If they want to get to gross margins, seeing them going over 20%, they need to start doing these things. And I must say I'm quite happy that both of them, they've started, they've started doing some major progress on both the these items or this what the neo ceo discussed back then because though batteries have not started being rolled off mass production but neo we know that it's already in plants and we could be seeing the first battery of neo jointly developed with another battery producer coming uh, out of rolling off the production line in q4 which is something that is great and it shows you not only when Neo is at, but where it could be chip production. We know that Neo already has done so many chips. There is the image signal chip for, there is the main controlling chip for later sensors. There is the signal chip for their phones. And there is this autonomous driving chip that we are talking about. Neo has done so much and Neo has done so well. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will see them continuing to do well even in the years to come. So. I am happy, I'm excited. Blue Sky is coming, long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout the head to the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. It takes me some time to make these videos and all I ask from you is to give it a thumbs up so that at least it can be, of course, spread out to the new investors all over the world. I'll see you on the next one, my dear friends. That is all from me and God bless you all.